London, The Biography, by Peter Ackroyd is a comprehensive and detailed account of the history of London from its earliest days to the present. The book is structured chronologically, with each chapter focusing on a specific period of time. Throughout the book, Ackroyd weaves together historical facts, anecdotes, and literary references to create a vivid and engaging portrait of the city. One of the central themes of the book is the idea that London is a city of contrasts. Ackroyd argues that from its earliest days, London has been a place where the rich and poor, the powerful and powerless, have lived side by side. This is evident in the way Ackroyd describes the architecture of the city, with grand palaces and stately homes standing next to slums and tenements. Another key theme of the book is the idea that London is a city that is constantly changing. Ackroyd describes how London has grown and evolved over the centuries, from a small Roman settlement to a sprawling metropolis. He also explores the many different cultures and communities that have contributed to the city's development, from the Saxons and Normans to the Huguenots and the Irish. One of the most interesting aspects of the book is Ackroyd's use of literary references to illuminate the history of the city. Throughout the book, he quotes from a wide range of authors, including Shakespeare, Dickens, and Virginia Woolf, to give a sense of the way that London has been imagined and represented in literature. This not only adds depth and richness to the book, but also highlights the way that literature and history are intertwined. Ackroyd also pays close attention to the way that London has been shaped by politics and power. He describes how the city has been the site of many important political events, from the Great Fire of 1666 to the Blitz of World War II. He also explores the many different ways that power has been wielded in the city, from the monarchs and aristocrats who once ruled from their palaces to the modern-day politicians and financiers who dominate the city's skyline. Throughout the book, Ackroyd's writing is evocative and engaging, bringing the city to life in all its complexity and contradiction. He has a talent for weaving together different strands of history and culture to create a rich and multifaceted picture of the city. At times, his writing can be dense and detailed, but it is always rewarding for readers who are willing to dive in and explore the city's history in depth. One of the strengths of the book is Ackroyd's ability to convey the sense of continuity and change that characterizes London's history. He shows how the city has been shaped by a multitude of different forces, from social and economic change to war and politics. He also highlights the way that certain features of the city have remained constant over time, such as the River Thames, which has always been at the heart of the city's life. In conclusion, London, the biography, is a fascinating and deeply researched account of the history of one of the world's most important cities. Ackroyd's writing is engaging and insightful, and he does an excellent job of weaving together different strands of history, culture, and literature to create a vivid and multifaceted portrait of the city. Whether you are a history buff or simply interested in the history of London, this book is a must-read.